friends, this is Grace and welcome to Rainbow Card Series video number six. This is the last video of this particular series. I'm a little bummed, but I did enjoy all of the techniques that I was able to try out. Just um, ideas on how to incorporate rainbow in cards. And so for my last one, I decided to create a background that is um, a rainbow colored and I'm using this sunburst stencil that I've had and I love it it's uh, I've had this for a long time and so I'm just going to create a um, a sunburst look on the background or on the on the rectangle <laughs> card front for my card and then using different shades or different colors of Distress Ink to mimic the rainbow. So I'm using my washi tape here. Um, washi is kind of my go-to just because it's low tack and um, also because I have a lot of them on hand. And so I'm just dividing them in different kind of pie shapes um, so that I can incorporate all of the colors here. So I'm just going to go through the circle and again just covering up the spaces that I don't want any colors seeping through. I did decide to have the color go all the way to the edge of the scallop um, unlike the I think in card number four where I was um, covering up the edge of the scallop just so you can see that I decided over here it's just coloring it's not like you're covering it with the image so I just made it go through all the way to the edge of that scallop piece and I am lazy I am not coloring or I'm not cleaning my brush in between well I am but I'm not like um I am not cleaning it with water in between. I am just kind of rubbing it off of my um, scrap piece of paper that's pretty dirty now. And then um, this is the finished background. And I really love how this turned out. I don't know if you noticed, but this particular piece of card, um, there's a, I took a close up shot of this rainbow. And this is actually the, um, the card or sorry, the photo that I used for my thumbprint for this particular series because I just love the background so much. And so I'm going to add this rainbow and putting that on to the um, kind of center right of or center, top center of my card base. And I have one more of the sentiment strips that I already pre-embossed and are stamped and embossed and it's called or the sentiment says wish big and I thought that was perfect because um, the rainbow was um, the rainbow background was pretty large and so I thought that would be kind of a perfect sentiment for that I will be matting that with some some brown cardstock just to make it stand out a, a little bit more and we'll be adding that with some fun foam as well so both the rainbow and the sentiment will be added with some fun foam now um, again that rainbow the ends of it is a little bit um, uneven for me and I didn't like that idea and so I'm pulling out my some leftover cloud punch and I'm trying to decide if I like it because I really just need to cover up one spot. But I decided that one is not symmetric enough. So I will be um, pulling out another white cardstock and then my cloud punch and then punching another one so that there will be two of them um, on the bottoms or on the ends of my rainbow. And then that will that will do it for this particular card. I think I, I add some glimmer or shimmer pen to the rainbow just to make it shine a little bit more. And I had to um, add fun foam to the bottom of the cloud just because the rainbow has fun foam already so I wanted them kind of all on the same plane um, so I added some fun foam to that and I will do the same to the um, bottom of the other side of the rainbow I think this is the part where um, 
I'm adding the sentiment and I think, I believe I add the other cloud punch after I finished this particular card. So I don't think that it will be part of the video. So that is card number one. And now card number two is really just because I had stuff already on my table. And so as you can see, I just added the same distressed ink colors. I added that vertically onto my card base, or I guess horizontally, if you look at it that this way. And um, I used my flower stencil, the rose stencil that I really love from Pink and Main. And then I'm using kind of that um, uh, water distress look to it or water resist, I think that's what it's called. And I'm just using some um, paper towel to sop up the excess. Now, um, it didn't really show the flower too much. Um, it just, I mean, it has a subtle effect, but it wasn't what I was thinking of. And so at this point, it just looked like it's a big mess. And one of the mistakes that I did, because again, I was just playing around with it with this. If I had wanted to do the water resist, I'd probably used a watercolor paper, but I just used some regular white crap cardstock that is not even thick and so it started bowing it started you know doing all sorts of um curves and at this point i was like eh, i don't know if i really like this but i've already spent a lot of time on this background and so i decided to put my cutting plates over it and then let that sit for overnight and see if it um takes away some of the curving and the bowing and it did um, but the ends of it are still pretty kind of curled up and so I'm just gonna deal with that and the way I deal with it is to slap it on a card base so that it's already adhered and it's not moving anymore and so I'm gonna add that to my card base which at this point I'm just gonna go with a craft and then I'm going to add the background piece. I mean, it's not so bad, but I feel like it's just a hot mess just because it didn't <clears throat> it didn't take in the flowers that I thought it would. Um, again, this is this flower piece that I have colored and cut are, is one of those where I've just stamped it and just you know didn't have any plans whatsoever um, and colored it, and then now I am finally using it onto a card. Um, I have this hello that I had cut out from a dye from Pretty Pink Posh, and I, I, I was actually using the square dye that this came from um, as a frame for my Christmas cards, but I didn't like the hello because it was a Christmas themed one. So I cut all of the hellos from, hellos from that particular square punch. And so I have a bunch of them and I added four over here just to um, give that particular sentiment some weight to it and some thickness. And so um, that's going to be the simple card sentiment for this for this card and now I wanted to add some dots of something and um, at first I thought maybe I should do gold but I don't think that it will be stark enough to show and so I have my white here and I did practice my white because I know it's kind of a blob lately and so I am um, practicing it on just some scrap piece of paper just so I can have a semi somewhat circle looking dots on my card and that is it thank you so much for watching this video and this series if you have any questions make sure that you leave it in the comment section below and if i don't catch you in another video i wish you guys a merry christmas and a happy new year and i will see you in another video bye